peace infinite waters diving deep once again we are out here breathing in that good ass prana baby we ain't even had breakfast yet can i get a hello there let me just first start by saying much love to all the deep divers out there and we're going to be moving most of the videos onto the website ralphsmart.com coming to the event bodaka event March 26th, lots of people already. Tickets going really fast, so make sure you save a spot so we can say, can I get a hello there? It's a beautiful day. I got a question in from someone who said that, what are they to do on a day like this when they see everybody kissing and holding hands and they don't have anybody to do that with? And I'm gonna share with you what helped me along my journey because I have never been single in my entire life but I didn't know that until about yesterday, right? I didn't know that until about <laughs> really recently, right? Because so many of us don't even realize that we can never be single. That's probably one of the greatest illusions ever created because everything is connected. When you're single, like really single, what did I do? You go into the cinema, you buy one ticket, and you eat a whole load of popcorn <laughs> by yourself. Can I get a hello there? When you are really single, no, like really single, you're in a relationship, but you don't really resonate with that person. You're just there because you don't want to be alone. And it's so bad, right? That's when you're really, really single because I talk to people every single day. We connect with millions of people, but I talk to people one-to-one. -one. People who have been married for years and years telling me that their relationship is not what it appears to be looking from the outside in. What are we talking about? Because if you are feeling alone, I'm here to tell you, don't be, right? When I, growing up, when I was in relationships, what happened? I realized, gosh, was it better being single, right? Then I was single, then I thought, wait a minute, maybe it's time I got into a relationship. You see, because you won't be satisfied, you won't be fulfilled, unless you start finding out that the greatest relationship lies within yourself. It happens like that. You see, we've been sold a fairy tale and we've believed it. We've been sold a perfect picture which really doesn't exist. I'm here to tell you that it's okay because you have never been single. Many of us are with someone and we're single because we are disconnected from ourselves. Mm, slow motion. Mm. Right? Many people are in abusive relationships because they don't want to be alone. That's why I always tell people, if you are single, use that time to work on yourself. Use that time to realize that there is nothing to be embarrassed about in being single. When I'm single, no embarrassment. When I'm in a relationship, lots of embarrassment. Can I get a hello there? There is no shame either way, but it all starts with you. I said a long time ago, you got to love yourself 100%. We're living in the golden age right now. And that's why what we're seeing is a whole new dawn upon us where people are connecting what I call making mind sex instead of body sex. Mm. Make love to my mind. That's where we're moving towards in the whole new world. The new world is here. Many of us fail to recognize that yes, 
if you are feeling alone, it is got a lot to do with how we perceive ourselves. If you are feeling alone, it has a lot to do with who you are surrounding yourself with. Surround yourself with people who are good for your mental health. But you see, many of us, we're going to be in for a rude awakening. Because we're starting to change how we view relationships. We're starting to change how we view love. For so long, we have given love exclusivity. And it's a super windy day, baby. Can I get a hello there? Right? We have said, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, but how comes when people are calling me every single day in consultations, when I'm seeing people, when I'm connecting with millions of people, when I'm getting over a thousand emails every single day, the headline is, I'm in a relationship and I've got a big problem. <laughs> That's why when you're single as, you know what? Don't worry about it. Can I get a hello there? In essence, you're going through the, the time, the wilderness, where you can now work on yourself. I saw my whole time being single as training day, as a time for becoming my greatest version as a time for choosing who I would allow into my space. But you see, a lot of us, we don't want to do that because we've still got in our minds the perfect image. You've been watching The Notebook, haven't you? Can I get a hello there? But you see, relationships are a beautiful thing. And being single is also a beautiful thing. So don't let nobody tell you that you should feel ashamed because you are single. Because the truth is, nobody is single and nobody owns anybody else. But everybody is connected. And that is what makes life so marvelous. You're comparing yourself to somebody else. To somebody else's relationship, which is probably the worst thing you could do. Why? Because now you feel inadequate. Everyone's relationship is totally different from yours. And everybody is connecting for different reasons. So, to the person that asked the question, you don't have to be a bleeding heart with your hands out open for people's love and attention. You got to start cultivating love and attention within yourself a hundred percent. Can I get a hello there? This is so much bigger than two people, than three people, than four people. The love connection is symbolic of the flower of life. Let me repeat that. The love connection is symbolic of the flower of life. Look at the flower of life. Look at sacred geometry and begin to see, like Leonardo da Vinci said, everything connects to everything else. Separation is an illusion. So a lot of times people write to me saying, I'm single, Ralph implying that they are separate, they are isolated, they are alone. I'm here to tell you, you have never been that. But it's all about where your focus is. It's all about the value that you give to yourself at any moment in time, which will determine 
if you are single or not. It's all about asking yourself, do I have time for me? Do I have time for me? Do I have time for the cat down the road? Right? Or am I going to just focus on lack? Because whatever you focus on grows. Whatever you focus on, the universe will give you more of that. Mm, can I get a hello there? So even when I was single, I'm here to tell you, I was never single. Looking back in hindsight, it's just that the reason why I felt single was because I was focusing on lack, what I didn't have. So if you are single and people are, no one is making you actually, but you are choosing to make yourself feel guilty that you don't have a partner. I'm here to tell you, look to your left. <gasps> What's that? Look to your right. <gasps> What's that? And realize all of these people around you are part of the flower of life, reminding you, you are not single. You have never been. You've never been alone. So connect with those who remind you. Connect with those who remind you who you are and realize there is no pressure. There is no shame. And there is no guilt, especially when you say, can I get a hello there? We're out here. We're just having fun. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace. You! <laughs>